Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm thrilled to have you here and uh, well today is uh, I'm going to jump on the stock lock Monday bandwagon but uh, I got these two vintage locks here this old sergeant and uh, this old Reese. Uh, they've been sitting on my desk for a long time waiting to get their chance on camera so uh, here we go. Um, as far as these Reese padlocks go, generally not too bad to pick and most commonly you see them as wafer locks but this was actually a pin tumbler. And then uh, in the same size variety, I've got this old sergeant here. Um, not sure how easy either one's going to be to pick. So uh, because there's some grime inside of both of them, so we don't know. So we'll go ahead and sit, stick a pick to them and see what happens. These are both in pretty rough shape. I'm not sure if they're. Uh, Going to be good qualifiers for restoration, or or when I'm done with them, they'll be thrown into the trading bucket. We'll see, though. Um, as far as this one goes, I want to use a short hook from Sparrows, and I got one around here somewhere. Um, there it is. I have beautiful wood right there. That's some of that uh, uh, blood wood that Fast Charlie sent me. That's some gorgeous stuff. All right. So we got that pick picked out, and well, I'm going to try a 50 thousandths pry bar and fail. So I'm going to go to a 40 thousandths. How about that first one was my 40 thousandths, and that one was my 50 thousandths. Uh, let's try this guy. There we go. Nice top of the keyway tension. The spare short hook. I'll have to pick from this ledge here on the side. So let's uh, see what we can do. There's click on one. And click on two. Click on three. Click on four. And click on five. So that, that one clicked in order one, two, three, four, five. Um, but it is a five pin, pin tumbler. So let's go ahead and mess with this old sergeant. Um, I'll be using a different pick. Um, I'll be using one of my home brews. And I'll definitely be able to use a 50 thousandths pry bar on that one. I should be able to pick from the bottom. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's pin three. Pin two. All right, and everything just overset. So let's try again. And that fifty thousand stuff doesn't want to stay in there very good. Pin three. It's back to the front. Let's click on one, click on two, and then I just overset three. Okay, pin four now. Hmm, gunky. Um, got some lube around here somewhere. It's not the best stuff to be using, but. Let's hit it with a little bit of uh, WD. Not the best lock lube in the planet, but that's all I've got right now. And dead spider. Definitely spider time of year. 
Okay. So back in with the 50 thou. Yeah, that tensioner just doesn't want to stay in there. Let's try uh, the bottom of the keyway really restricts me. This one's just going to be one of those tensioning games, isn't it? Actually, I'm going to go bottom of the keyway here. Won't be able to use that pick, but I've got a homebrew that is shorter that I should be able to use. And I am using fairly heavy tension here, folks. Okay, that was a hard fault click. Yeah, it was pin two. Maybe I just don't have enough reach on that particular pick. Yeah, now we're starting to see some stuff happen. There we go. Yeah, I just needed to pick with a little bit more reach. We got this old guy open. The shackle hasn't popped, but it is picked. <clears throat> well, yeah. Well, it's locked back up, but uh, that shackle, that shackle's stiffer than all get out. So that shackle probably will never open unless I uh, try really hard to get some stuff into it. Maybe do some repairs on this lock before I uh, get her shipped out. Uh, might be able to, I don't know. And I'm actually seeing something here that is going to aid me possibly in the restoration of another vintage sergeant lock uh-huh see every once in a while you'll see something that helps you out i've got another lock similar to this but it's a sergeant um uh, sergeant corbin or no corbin russ one sorry um but uh, this one i'm seeing some pins right here these pins might be core retention pins because uh you can see on this one, you can see where the side stack pins are, and there's normally another one here for core retention. Well, this one looks like it's the same way, except it's, you know, the whole side cover comes off. But, uh, yeah, I actually see a little mark right there, and that uh, that one right, well, there's two marks. That might be where the core retention pins are, so that might get me back to my uh, 
Corbin restoration video one of these days. So we'll see. But anyway, that's a stock lock Sunday, and uh, there's a pair of uh, stock locks here. Old vintage, a five-pin tumbler uh, Reese, and an old vintage Sergeant. All right, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Please stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you like what you see here, go ahead and ring the bell, too. And uh, you know what? If you see a lock out there in the wild and you don't have a key for it, just don't stick a pick in it. Just like these. Don't stick picks out.